Aldershot Resources has acquired an option to purchase the Haltane Gold Project, located in one of the largest gold mining camps in the world, the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. A 2007 GCS report shows the Abitibi Belt as having over 220 million ounces of gold production plus reserves, and this has increased significantly in the last 10 years. These two gold districts are situated along major east-west fault structures of the Abitibi region, where numerous other gold mines or gold projects in development are located. Rather than looking for projects in the overexplored fault structures, Aldershot management decided instead to look in one of the less explored structures, the Rideout Fault, which runs parallel and south of the Timmins and Kirkland Lake gold camps. The Haltine discovery was made in 2010, when transition metals followed up on encouraging signs of mineralization identified by local prospector Sherry Swain. The property is located 75 kilometers southeast of the Kirkland Larder Lake gold camp and one kilometer west of the Gauganda Silver Camp. The property is situated near the Round Lake Bathlet. The geological setting of the Haltane property has similarities to that of Kirkland Lake, 75 kilometers to the northeast. Geological mapping and trenching on the northern portion of the property expose a large zone of mineralization in a cyanide dike swarm. Similar to Kirkland Lake, at Haltane the cyanide has a key association with the gold mineralization. Many deposits are cyanide hosted or closely located within structures that may have intersected with the cyanide intrusions. Surface trenching has identified three main east trending gold bearing intrusive cyanide dike swarms that are the main target for exploration. Most of the significant gold assays are from quartz and quartz carbonate veins in these cyanide dikes. Trenching at the Annie's Ladder showing exposed veining along the margins of the cyanide dikes where native gold is seen in the quartz veining in the trenches. Transition Metals conducted a 21-hole drill program targeting gold mineralization associated with quartz carbonate stockwork veining occurring in cyanide dikes exposed by the trenching. Three holes at Annie's Ladder showing intercepted a series of gold veins and returned multimeter multigram gold intercepts similar in range of gold values to the channel samples at surface. Shear structures developed around cyanide dike swarms. Shear zones are major zones of weakness extending to the Earth's crust which are important for emplacing the cyanides. Continued deformation along these structures creates brittle fractures which can be invaded by gold-bearing fluids. Subsequent to the drill program, Transition has recognized that shear structures related to the cyanide dike swarms also represent an important feature for hosting high-grade values of gold. The south-central shear is traceable along the southern contact of the Swain cyanide dike swarm. Hole TM1109 intersected 86 grams per ton gold over 0.36 meters. There are elevated gold values at the surface along this structure for over one and a half kilometers of strike. The northwest shear vein system is traceable for over one kilometer and is exposed in trench seven. The northwest shear is seven to 10 meters wide and is intruded by altered and mineralized cyanide dikes. The northwest shear has parallel veining hosting elevated gold values Thumbnail size visible gold is evident in the veining. Aldershot Resources is planning a $400,000 trenching and drill program to test further target areas, in particular targets where shear structures intersect the cyanide dikes. As the previous drill program tested the shallow downward extension of surface mineralization exposed in trenching, the 2016 drill program will test for mineralization further at depth. The Haltane property currently hosts a widespread gold mineralized system over a strike length of one and a half kilometers with visible gold at surface. The full extent of this system and its economic potential have not fully been established and Aldershot management is excited at the prospect of discovering another multi-million ounce gold deposit in the infamous Abitibi Greenstone Belt of Canada.